Today, we are demystifying Winter White. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. So Winter White, AKA wearing white in the winter. That's all it is. We're gonna demystify it today. I'm gonna show you all of my favorite current winter white pieces as well as show you how to style them in various different looks. And I'm gonna talk about some tips along the way to really help you so that you can nail a winter white look every time. Before we jump into the tips and the looks, just wanted to say a huge thank you to Free People for sponsoring this video. Free People is such a wonderful brand that I really come to love. Love, especially as I've gotten older. I love what they embody, this free spirit, this freedom that we have, and I feel like becomes more prevalent as we get older. It has for me anyway. You know, I'm 40, how old am I? 47? 48? Oh my God. As I've gotten older and obviously forgetful, I really feel more free. I feel lighter. I feel more joyful. I feel like, let's do it, carpe diem. And I feel like Free People really embodies that spirit, really speaks to me. And they also make pieces that are wearable, functional, versatile with a twist. And you guys know how much I love a twist. I love a modern twist. So throughout this video, you're going to see various Free People pieces as well as winter white, of course. I wanna start with something very simple. This top is a lace mock neck bodysuit by Free People. It is called the day and night lace bodysuit appropriately named because you could wear it for day or night. But a couple highlights I wanted to share with you about this top. The first is that the neck is quite loose, which is actually very flattering for those of us who are a little bit older who may have a little skin here because the tighter this is, the more it can accentuate the skin. This is very forgiving and loose, so it covers without accentuating. It also has a lot of ruching in the tummy area, which helps to mask a tummy. Me. So right now, I've, told, I've shared with you guys, I'm I'm all the way through menopause. Weight is a con. It feels like a never-ending battle for me right now, especially since I've been living in Spain and not, you know, paying as close attention to my diet. So I have now gained 10 pounds back from the 15 that I lost. This is great for me right now because the ruching really helps to mask my tummy. And then if I throw a little jacket on over it, like this uh, full leather blazer by Mango, it really helps to slim the side. So if you're feeling a little bit, eh, you know, about the tummy side love handle area, this is a great way to slim the sides. It's also a very chic look. And then the boot cut jeans, the high rise boot cut jeans are very elongating and slimming. These are by Mother, by the way. We'll put links to all of the looks below in the description box. But again, just use what you have in your very own closet first to recreate these concepts. You don't ever have to go out and buy new pieces. And I am wearing some gold loafers that I got here in Spain at a store called Uterque. And these are really cool, which obviously you could get them if you're in Europe, but at home we'll link something that's similar. I think some of us, when we picture winter white, think of the whole head to toe outfit. I think that is such a gorgeous look, but it's much more difficult to pull off. So I'm showing you some ways you can incorporate winter white into your wardrobe in a much more wearable, simple way. So the lace bodysuit was one option. Another option would be a sweater or a tunic. Here is an example, another Free People piece. This is one of their most popular sweaters. It's called the Ottoman Slouchy Tunic. This runs really large, by the way. I'm wearing an extra small, it's still huge. But that's the point of the sweater. Like this is the sweater you pull out to wear with skinny jeans. This is the sweater you pull out to wear with leggings. I wanted to show it with a couple of different options just to give you some variety. The first one I want to show you is with actually a straight leg jean. These are by Paige. And I wanted to show you something that wasn't a true skinny jean, just to give you, again, another option. So with this sweater, this oversized, the challenge is how do you give it shape? It is so billowy. There's a couple different ways you can go about it. I wanted to show you a way to do it with an accessory. So with the slouchy tunic, I have the Hudson sling bag, which is a suede sling bag. It's also by Free People. That creates shape in and of itself. Like you could just carry that bag and give yourself shape. I love this bag, by the way. I love that whole like sling bag look and having that bag just kind of right under, under your bust on the side. I feel like it's very safe, especially if you're traveling, to protect your money and your purse. But also it's a really cool look. And like I said, it creates shape with the sweater. That's one option. Another option would be to do a little half tuck. And I know this is quite a billowy piece. There's a lot of fabric, but there's no harm in just doing a little, you know, one or two little half tuck 
tucks in the front. Still, it gives you tons of forgiveness. It's still long in the back if you wanna cover up your bum. And then another option is to use a hack I've shared with you guys before, which is to take that hair tie, pull some fabric from the inside, and create a little ruching effect under the bust with your hair tie. I did a whole video on hair tie hacks, by the way, if you wanna check that one out after this one, we will put a link to it up here and below. The second option I wanted to show you is that same sweater with skinny jeans, which would be more of a traditional way of styling it. In this look, I have on some really funky white boots. These are called the Brooks Chelsea boots. Now, this is definitely a very trendy boot. You could just swap the boots for a black booty and this would look totally, you know, like classic and normal. I wanted to show you something a little funkier because I wanted to talk about this trend as well. This is a huge trend that I'm seeing in Europe here in Spain. These white boots that almost look like rain boots. You see they have this thick lug sole. That's a trend that I've talked about. They also are a little bit on the shiny side. I don't think they're waterproof, but they look more like a rain boot, a rain Chelsea boot. This particular pair of boots, by the way, is very tight to the leg. So if you have a wider calf, I would not recommend this boot for you. But if you have a thin or narrow calf, these are so wonderful. They fit me perfectly, but if I put on any more weight, I'm not going to be able to zip them up. <laughs> And then I finished off this look with a winter white coat. So you'll see the coat throughout this whole video, but a coat is a very simple way to wear winter white as well and get a lot of bang for your buck, like a lot of impact with minimal output. Now here's where you're like, hmm, I don't know if I can do winter white cause it'll get so dirty, but maybe you don't buy something that's really expensive. Maybe you buy a less expensive piece that you know, I'm gonna have it for one, maybe two seasons, and then it will no longer be good because it'll be too dirty or you donated it or whatever. This is a very affordable coat that I got recently that I've been wearing all over and it really does add so much to your look. You could be wearing like a t-shirt and jeans, you throw on the, the very chic wool winter white coat and it elevates everything. That's another option. The next piece that you can try when it comes to winter white are jeans. I wanna show you two options, one that is a true winter white and one that is more of a beige. So the first look, I'm wearing beige jeans. These have a very wide leg. I'm wearing the same funky Chelsea boots that I just showed you. I have on this fuzzy white sweater that is also by Free People. This is called the Moonbeam Pullover Sweater. You guys know I love a fuzzy sweater. And this one is so soft and it's three quarter sleeve. So if you're running hot, like I'm so hot today, it keeps you cooler, which I appreciate. This is what I would call the quintessential Spanish way of wearing winter white. You've got the wide leg pants or jeans. You've got your wool coat. You've got your top underneath. It's a very chic street look. I think that winter white here is so prevalent because of the weather. So I looked it up the other day because I'm like, it's so sunny here. Like how many days of sun are there in Madrid every year. 350 days is what it says. When I said on Instagram that it's sunny every day here, it almost is sunny every single day, which is crazy. So they wear a lot of winter white here because they do not get a lot of rain. It's also a heat thing. It's warmer here than a lot of other climates. So I think it makes it easier to wear white. Now, if you were in Paris, for example, I don't know if you guys remember, I took a trip to Paris and I packed like a whole winter white wardrobe and I felt like I stuck out like a sore thumb. Like I, I was so glaringly white against everybody else who was like gray and black. So I think that the white depends on what city you're in. I can imagine in Italy, there's probably more white as well. But here in Spain, there is a ton of white and women love to wear, as I've shared with you before, the wider leg pants and trousers, which I'm showing you in this look. By the way, I did do a video about dressing more like a Parisian woman. If you wanna watch that video, we'll put a link here and we'll also put a link in the description box below. You could go the beige jeans route or you could go for true winter white jeans, which this look has. It's just winter white jeans, sneakers, tee, and a leather blazer. It's a very simple outfit and this is one where it is really head to toe and I feel like it really is simple and easy to pull off because it's just white jeans, white tee, blazer, sneakers. That's it. Super simple easy. Just find a great pair of white jeans that really fit and flatter your body and you're good as well as the blazer. This is more of a cropped blazer. So you could also play around with the proportion of your blazer and do something that's a little bit longer if you need more coverage around the hips, button, thigh area. Next up, 
are pants. Of all of the looks that I've shared with you guys, this is probably the trickiest and the most trendy. So I wanted to show you these white stirrup pants by Elisabetta Franchi. Thank you to my Italian viewers for correcting my mispronunciation of that. In Spain you would say Franchi, but in Italiano you say Franchi. These are bona fide stirrup pants, my friends, and I'm here for it. I like them. Some of you will be gagging and saying, I did that. I'm never doing that again, but I'm just always up for it. Let's do it. Let's try it. What do I always say? It's supposed to be fun, right? So why not have some fun with it? I just found these pants and I found them to be so fun. So here's an example of stirrup pants with some pumps, a kind of bralette top that actually just is actually really cropped, but because the pants are so high, you don't really see any skin in the midriff or very little and then I paired that with a long line boyfriend blazer this one's by Eero. Moving on to dresses. So dresses are a one and done very simple way of wearing winter white and I'm going to show you two options one dress that you would wear for fall winter and another dress that you would wear for spring summer vacation. So the first dress is a wrap dress that's a heavier knit beautiful winter white little ruffle detail on the sleeve and it is a midi length so it goes well beyond the knee. This is is a beautiful piece, flattering, and also very warm and functional. Easy to care for too. It is a knit, so I wouldn't worry too much about you know getting this dirty. I think if I were home, I would pair this with some tall camel boots, but the only tall boots that I have here are these darker brown ones, which I think look pretty too, but I would go for the camel boot if I were at home. So that's one option that you could really do right now that I think is beautiful. Another option that I think is just so divine is this lace dress by for love and lemons. This is a brand I've talked about before. I have another dress by them that's short that I featured in a shoot that I did in Moab, Utah. It's really gorgeous. This is a long maxi version. I really love it because I want to wear anything that reminds me of a wedding dress. <laughs> this really looks like this kind of beautiful, sexy wedding dress. I ordered a small. It's too small for me. I should have ordered a medium. I can't quite zip it all the way up in the back. So you should size up for sure with this brand. Another thing that I love about the dress is the empire waist, which is very flattering. That's traditionally the smallest part of a woman's body. It has sleeves. It has a long skirt. It is a bodysuit inside, so it does show all of your legs, but obviously they're covered. If you wanted more coverage, you could just throw on a half slip. I like the one by Commando. I don't have my Commando slip here with me, so I just wanted to show you with a different slip what it would look like if you just added a little more coverage. Also, you know, with the top, you could play around with a camisole or a bra top if you wanted to give yourself a little more coverage there. But just such a beautiful dress, and I think it's so cool when you wear like this bohemian kind of maxi with a really oversized cardigan. This is an oversized chunky cardigan also by Elizabeth Franchi. I'm going to return this and get the medium, but I feel like I'm prepared for my next beach vacation with this dress. I love it. I've got a little wild card for you. In the next category, skirts. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have noticed there has been an inordinate amount of tulle. I am having a moment where I want to wear tulle all day, every day. I think it was ignited by the new Sex in the City show called And Just Like That, which I'm not loving, by the way. Eh. I'm happy it's on. I'm happy they are doing it. I'm happy to see women our age represented, but I'm not loving it. I think that series and my love of that series brought back the whole tulle skirt inspiration for me. So I bought a tulle skirt here in Madrid. I've just been wearing it a lot and styling it in different ways. So I wanted to show you some of the ways that I styled it that I think are so special and beautiful. The first option is to wear it with some really chic suede black stiletto booties, a black double breasted blazer. This one's by Balmain, but there are a zillion dupes and then just a bodysuit underneath. I love this look so much. I think it's so elegant and sophisticated, but it has some whimsy and, you know, some of that free spirit to it. Here's another one. It's just a tulle skirt with an off shoulder dolman sleeve white rib sweater that's very lightweight so you can easily tuck it in and then a pair of booties with it. Here's another option that I 
absolutely love. This is the same tool skirt under a midi dress. Like I put this together and I was like, you're just a genius. So it's a mini dress over the tool skirt with a really cool belt, the coat over the dress, tights, and shoots black stiletto booties in suede. It's just, I love it so much. I could live in this outfit. Yeah, so these are more wild card outfits, but if you had like a silky white skirt or just a an A-line white skirt, this should give you some ideas, get the brain percolating. There are a bunch of different ways that you can wear winter white using a skirt as your base. One other quick tip I just wanted to share is jewelry. If you see, I have on these like little pearl drop hoops and then I have on a winter white cocktail ring. This is a very simple way to add a little winter white to your look that will give it that pop and that interest, but soup, you know, you don't have any problems taking care of it and it's so easy to do. So that's another option as well. First of all, what was your favorite look? I think we showed 11 looks, maybe, give or take. A lot of looks. You've got the top, the sweater, the beige jeans, the white jeans, the white stirrup pants, the tool skirt three ways, and two different dresses. So which of those were your favorite? please share in the comments. Just one other tip I wanted to share with you that with your winter white pieces, you can mix tones and textures. In fact, you should do that. For example, fuzzy sweater, texture, beige jeans, tones, off-white tone versus bright white, different tones of white. Don't be afraid, throw a little suede in there, throw a little leather in there, throw, you know, throw different textures in there and also throw in different tones. It actually makes it a more interesting outfit altogether. I feel like I've felt so much much lighter here and so much brighter here so I really feel pulled and drawn to wearing white and I hope that you will experiment and try a little white too because I do think there is some levity in wearing white and just pushing the envelope a little bit don't always resort back to the same old same old like try different things try something that's a little out of your comfort zone push yourself a little bit one last thing just wanted to say huge thank you to free people for sponsoring this video it is a wonderful elevated brand that really embraces women and women's spirits thank you to free people and thank you to all of you for watching this video. I really, really, really appreciate your support. You're awesome. Love y'all. See you next time. Bye.